It's a long way to Malawi, but I was about to set off on the adventure of a lifetime. I'm in Malawi, woo! It was an incredible experience and one I will never ever forget. Meeting the Malawian people was such a highlight. She's saying, I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Very good manners for a two-year-old, Lindley. I loved experiencing the culture. How far do you have to walk? <laughs> I'll be there by dinner time. And showing them what we were all about. So Adam, who um, is back in New Zealand right now, he does his favourite move called the sprinkler. Can you guys do the sprinkler? <laughs> Someone will give it a go with me. Come on, come on. Hey. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At times, it was a very harrowing experience. Walking into that house was a really surreal experience. I've seen pictures of houses like that before, but to be in there and feel it, feel how small it is and how dark it is, was just. I mean, people, people aspire to, to build a house like that, and it's so different from homes in New Zealand, and yet they're really grateful to have a house. This is the bedroom? Yeah, this is the bedroom. And four people will sleep on that mat there, rolled out in this yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is the living room through yeah. here, and the yeah. two boys sleep there at night sleep there. Yeah. And then that room just through there is for the animals. We, and they, we keep the animals. And often a humbling one. This is little Brenda. She's pretty tiny, but here at the clinic her mum will get information about healthy diets. Brenda will be weighed and measured to keep track of her growth, and she gets to see a doctor for free. Seeing Brenda was especially shocking for me because she's almost three years old, and I have a three-year-old nephew, and he's much taller. He's bigger, he's got some kind of fat rolls and he's boisterous and he just runs around and has all this energy and we Brenda was there um, you know on her mum's back and you just want her to have the energy to run around like a three-year-old is supposed to. If there's one thing this journey taught me it's that we don't know how lucky we are. <laughs> From all the wonderful people I met in Malawi and the awesome team at World Vision, thank you for doing the 40-hour famine and make sure you get on board next year. Yeah.